Now let's look at question 17. Reduction of 7.55 gram of tin oxide using hydrogen gas yields 5.95 gram of tin metal. Determine the empirical formula of tin oxide. Now, do not be worried about what reduction means. Reduction is uh, one of the chemical processes. We have a reduction and oxidation that will be in chapter, chapter 3 of 45 SPM. So now, what you need to know is uh, tin oxide would have a formula of this. Right? So, as N, O. So, we do not know what exactly is the ratio. So, we write SNX, OY. And this compound has 7.55 gram. You need to know that what makes SNO is uh, consists of tin as well as oxygen. Okay, this hydrogen gas is one of the one of the material used to 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 make the compound tin oxide. All right. So. Do not worry about the hydrogen because we only focus on the tin which is 5.95 gram and oxygen should be having the mass of 7.55 minus 5.95 right? even though it's not mentioned in the question but you should be able to get the idea you need to use the mass of the compound minus the mass of the element so you get 1.6 1.6 gram Alright, so based on this, you can find the number of mole, change the color of the pen, number of mole for this is 5.95 divided by, what's the molar mass of tin? Okay, the molar mass of tin seems like I have to erase this page to find out the molar mass of tin. Okay, let's go up the molar mass of tin should be 119 right so we go back to the question this one so we have 5.95 divided by 119 that is the number of more of tin as n <coughs> oxygen it was 1.6 gram so the number of mole is 1.6 divided by 16 that's a molar mass so you get a figure of 5.95 divided by 1.9 and that's 0 0.05 mole and then you have 1.6 divided by 16 that will give you 0 0.1 you can add in a 0 to make it 0 0.10 and then you compare this and this figure okay this is ratio 1 to 2 so the empirical formula of empirical formula tin oxide is SnO2 so let's move on to another question question 18 10.2 gram of vanadium metal combined with 8 gram of oxygen to form a compound with empirical formula of V2O5 determine the molar mass of vanadium Right, so this is uh, vanadium V205, we have 10.2 and 8, so we use a whiteboard, V205, so we have V, we have O, so we have 10.2 gram, and then we have, let's check, 8 gram of oxygen, 8 gram of oxygen, we need to find out the molar mass of vanadium, which is not given, so we find out the number of mole for vanadium first, which we, we really can't because we can't, we are supposed to get the molar mass of vanadium. Molar mass of vanadium. So number of mole for oxygen can be found easily. 8 divided by 16. That will give you 0 0.5 mole. Now, what is given here is uh, V205 tells us that the ratio is 2 to 5. If the ratio is 2 to 5, do you think logically this answer should be 0 0.2 since this is 0 0.5? Okay, you see the link, you can see the connection. Ratio of 2 to 5 is the same as 0 0.2 mole and 0 0.5 mole. 
so we get 0 0.2 so if important information here is uh, 0 0.2 equals to 10.2 divided by v okay so we need to find the molar mass of vanadium so that's 10.2 divided by 0 0.2 that will give you 51 gram per mole this is vanadium 